in 2014, didn't you reunite with Cameron and did the screenplay for uh, the film Percentage? Um, well, I executive produced it. Um, Jacob sort of put that movie, helped Cam put that movie together. Yeah. I kind of co-signed it with Sha Kim. Right. Omar Gooding started it. Yeah. Co-started it. Yeah. What was it like working with Cameron after all those years? Um, Cam is, you know, I, I enjoyed his creativity. Um, you know, we, 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 we classed a lot, um, creatively just to, you know, cause I had this thing with Cam and I, and I, I heard that he kind of traumatized Joel's with this same process is that I always challenged Cam on where Cam thought he was better. I used to always challenge him that you're, you you haven't gotten better. This is subpar to me. So it, it, he, he was forced to, and, and I wasn't taking anything away from him. When Cam says that he used, un used to be like, Biggie would have did it this way. Biggie would have did it that way. And I was saying, no, Cam, you want, Right, Cam is a gold artist, right? He that's his career. He's always been a he went platinum after Def Jam bought some records on Old Boy and all that when he first got to Def Jam. But he's a legitimate gold artist like Red Man and Method Man and hmm. all of these other guys, right? You know mm -hmm. those yeah, legitimate yeah. gold artists, right? So Cam didn't want to put in the work or listen to what it took. To, you know, Puff had to tell Big, Machine Gun Funk is not going to get you to me an album. Right. Right? Nas had to do Lauren Hill, If I Ruled the World, yeah. to get to that level. Jay had to come. He Jay didn't really start making big records until Pharrell. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything else was still this underground rapping choruses. And nah, if you want to sell millions of records... Here is what we learned, and this is how you do it. That's why Puff was so successful. 